training it's a lot of training like i and i think that's very important to practice your voice because like it's muscle and when you don't practice it it doesn't work that well so i really focused on practicing with a teacher also like um, i choose one-on-one -on -one classes in school uh, with super nice vocal a uh, teacher and we went through all of the songs so that helped a lot because we were focusing mainly on um, emotional delivery of the songs which is very hard because it's super emotional songs and it's all true But that was speaking too much. I need uh, some tape or something. That's what I need. Tape. You, you got the tape. I don't have a tape. Ella, you have the tape. I don't have a tape. Tape this It's here. Yeah. And Ella, you got that black pen too. Is this the best you got? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's good. What? Just saying, this the this he, he's saying like this is an expert export of Slovakia. Yeah, it's the best we got. And I said that's the best you guys got. Yeah, I mean, of course it is. This right here also. Yeah. And that bag. Yeah. yeah, this type. This. Oh. What are you talking about? about? I'll be proud about my booty. Sky is completely dark. Witches are coming out. Bitches take cover now! Nice take. There be no turning round. Bitches take over now! Skies completely dark. Witches are coming! There be no turning round. Witches take over. Fuck. <clears throat> How far are you pulling back when you do the high part? I forgot. Of course, like uh, I was like preparing this, for for singing it technically right. Yeah, but. But uh, I think that part was done before, which luckily like worked out. And now I like during the recording, I really 
can focus just um, on matching meaning of music and meaning of lyrics. So it would tell same thing. And um, yeah, just focusing on how it feels and how should, how should it feel, what feeling I want to say so the listener would understand what I'm saying, <laughs> the situation and yeah, our lives. Yeah, I'm really good at it. That's it. I think. <laughs> it's not a sexy vibe mm. now, but it's really tense. But it is. It's, okay. it's something. So. Yeah. We may. We can maybe try. We can maybe try another one. Yeah. This one. Like we have this one. No, this, we can use this one. This is like a used one. Do you want to listen to it? Yeah. But this was very intense, nice. Yeah, I mean, you, that's what this song is, so... Pretty. I don't know where it's going. Perfect what you did. The ancestors. Yeah, the probably. <laughs> Sexy at all. That was like second take, and we will or leave it and not cut it at all. Yeah, because you couldn't cut this or whatever. Or we would make a sexier mood. I heard something in the room from you, like I don't know what it was, and I thought, oops, that's fucking amazing. I think okay, it's yeah. like just thing. Yeah. Vicky? Be for sure a big move now to leave it in like this. I mean, I I had goosebumps and I, and I felt like I felt like it was really real. It's super it's real. real. I think that it's not clean always, but I think that's nice. I also think that whoever is your hater will make a kind of like a shit video out of them. Yeah, your hate is gonna love though. Us. Your hate is gonna love us. We can do that. Do it before your hate does. The only thing which is important is music. Even we are like always thinking also about visuals, also about managing ourselves, also about all these additional things. Like if music is not good, then like you can do anything and it will not work so yeah that's what i'm also learning a lot like putting all of the concentration just on music and delivering my feelings to music and being super honest and not trick anybody with anything just being myself and what are you guys doing? We just decided to end the album with this. I think you need to uh, find a way to 
calm down your ego, actually, uh, and let the others show what they have, and maybe like create something together. Um, and so, so I I find really good way in music uh, to be more humble and not uh, trying to persuade everything about like you are right because like nobody is right uh, we don't know what is right uh, and we should all let the others express let's get another one Yeah, I still can and it's, hear. And it's just soloed. The left one. Yeah. Okay. So shall we do the whole thing? Yeah. I think with this album, uh, I'm trying to approach the more classical percussion style. So like no, because that that's that's. That's why I really like is the thing that I really like is uh, finding a different new sounds like and trying to smash different like things you wouldn't hit normally like not musically instruments but I think with this album uh, I more dived into classical stuff only like shakers tambourines cowbells and really the things that were here with the band music uh, all the time. And sometimes you don't even notice them or like hear them clearly, but when it's muted, when you take them out of the track, it, it's missing something. So it's like uh, filling the spaces in a in a good way, in a moderate way. That's that's my rule number one: to be moderate with sound, not not to overdo stuff, not to do like four or five layers of one thing or like trying to do everything into one track like more that's that's the approach with all the instruments like to be simple and bring the yeah I, I'm trying to support the emotion yeah. How many percussions per song do you usually have? I try to be as moderate as possible, like to, to have as like we have only tambourine and bongo on this one. This, one, this is what's playing. At first in pre-production we had a kind of say like a bunch of sound ideas that were too much. Yeah, for a psychedelic record and so we're like stripping down. Machiko and I tried to take ideas and pull them all into one into psychedelic records. What does that mean or how do you how would you interpret the rhythm ideas I feel like psychedelic records one, are more one performance than maybe you would records like. created by psychedelic people yeah, to be consumed by psychedelic people. And I think psychedelic people are the hardest audience to please because they are looking for the most honest, most true thing. So this would be like just match for me, Woodstock '69.
I would say I do music because of emotions. Uh, that's why I'm doing it, because it gives me different emotions and I'm aiming to make music with emotion and to bring some emotions to, to the people. Uh, and I think that's like when, when this is achieved, that's I think my, my mission here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>